Hello everyone. Welcome to Go VM Lab NSXT for Beginners lecture series. In previous lecture, we have navigated you through a networking specific dashboard of our NSXT manager and we have explored what all the networking services and capabilities are provided by NSXT solution. In this particular lecture, we are going to walk you through security specific dashboard of our NSXT manager and we'll see that what all the security related capabilities are provided by NSXT solution. So with that, let's get started. So as you could see that we are logged into our NSXT manager. That's our NSXT dedicated interface. Now let's log into our NSXT manager with the username admin. So click here to log in. And as you do see that we are successfully logged into our NSXT manager UI. And this theme, what do you see that is called dark theme. Now I am very much comfortable with the dark theme, but if you want to change this dark theme to light theme on the right side, you do see that there's a sun icon. So click on that icon and the theme will be changed to from dark theme to light theme. So let's click on that moon icon. So go back to a dark theme. In the very first lecture, we have walked you through overview dashboard. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about networking specific dashboard of our NSXT manager. In this lecture, we are going to focus on security specific capabilities and services provided by our NSXT solution. So click on the security to navigate to the security dashboard and look at that. This is our security specific dashboard of our NSXT manager. On the left panel, you do see that we have a bunch of security specific capabilities available on this solution, which we will be navigating you through as a part of this lecture. Now, as you could see that the first one, what we have it is a security overview. That's a default landing page. And as you do see that it gives us same like what we have seen with our overview dashboard or our networking dashboard, where we have got networking specific configuration on that dashboard. Security overview will give us security specific insights on this security dashboard. Now the first section, what do you see that intrusion detection summary for east west traffic? So we need to have a IDS and IPS configurable. We do have IDS and IPS configuration and that's where this dashboard will give us a lot of insights and visibility about our traffic and how my how our traffic flows are going through in our NSX infrastructure. So it will give us a lot of visibility about those traffic patterns. So that's what this intrusion detection summary section is all about it. Then scroll down a little bit. That's where we have a URL analysis summary. So this particular dashboard is going to give us a, a statistics very specific to URL analysis where we want to see that within my organization, what all the websites are frequently being accessed by the user. And that's where we can have a better control on the on the websites which are being accessed by users within that organization. That's where the URL analysis summary will give us a lot of information about URL data which travels across north south traffic. Then scroll a little bit and that's where we have a third component which talks about NSX distributed firewall rule utilization where it will be giving us information that what all the rules have been configured as you rightly see that it tells us that as of now, there, there are four distributed rules have been configured successfully. No identity firewall rules, no L7 firewall rules or FQDN rules have been configured so far. The last section, what do you see that it's all about NSX intelligence appliance. This NSX intelligence appliance gives us a, a very good visualization about traffic visibility and traffic insights about our NSX data center. That's a very important appliance to monitor our traffic flows and getting a lot of visibility into our traffic. So that's what our NSX security dashboard is all about it. So as of now, the IDS is not yet configured. That's the reason we don't see any information which is getting populated here or updated here. We have not configured any NSX URL analysis. That's the reason we don't see any stats specific to the URL analysis. So as of now, there's just distributed firewall rule. What is what it has been configured as of now, we just have a distributed firewall rule configured and that's what we do exactly see it here. And now the next option, what we have it in the security overview dashboard is configurations. So let's go and click on the configurations tab. And once we click on the configurations, 
you do see that it gives us a pretty good pictorial representation and the statistics about our security specific configurations now just to just to repeat it once again and the first dashboard what do we have seen that it is all about security insights whereas your we gonna get information about our traffic flows visibility and control the next option what do you see that is about configurations this dashboard is going to give us information about what all the security rules have been configured on our NSX infrastructure and that's where the first section talks about it tells us that we have created two distributed firewall policies one gateway policies and one network introspection policies there is no endpoint policies have have been configured so far no network introspection policy have been configured for north south traffic and there is no ids policies have been configured so that's the first section which gives us a security configuration related information in that dashboard now i scroll down a little bit and that's where you do see information about distributed firewall what all the distributed firewall rules have been configured and that's where you do see that it gives us a information that there is a one firewall rule application policy have been created and the second ethernet policy rule have been created now within that category it gives us that what all the services are actually being consumed by this distributed firewall rules and as you could see that there is any service so there is a rule specific to any service one rule is about dscp client ic ipv6 icmp and dscp server so it gives us information about the top services consumed by our distributed firewall rules now if you click it on that particular service it will navigate you directly to our distributed section as you rightly see it here so click on configuration dashboard now scroll little bit and the next section what we have it is endpoint protection so as you as you do see that as of now we have not configured any third party integration with the nsx manager that's the reason we don't have any malware detection using the endpoint protection capabilities but that's where whenever we want to have malware protection to protect our guest vms that's where we integrate third party vendors with the nsx platform and then we get this a uh, more capabilities of malware protection and detection right so as of now the endpoint protection we have not configured and just talking about the profiles what has been configured the default profiles which are provided as a part of endpoint protection but as you do see that there is no host agent vm is running there is no service vm is running as of now which is re really required for endpoint protection so that's what our security overview is all about configuration dashboard is all about it now the next what we have it is the capacity dashboard so click on capacity dashboard and it's going to give us a capacity information so for example if you do see that it gives us the information that introspection rules for north south traffic on tier 1 is the maximum capacity is 10000 rules introspection policies for our east west traffic is up to 500 that's the maximum capacity if you scroll down a little bit you will see that a distributed firewall sections look at the the configuration maximum you can create up to 10000 distributed firewall sections and if you scroll a little bit you will see that distributed firewall rules we can create up to 1 lakh distributed firewall rules that's the maximum capacity what we can configure it on this particular nsx platform now these numbers might be varying as per version to version so that's a 3.1.2 version maybe this the, the upcoming version or the lower version will have a, a different numbers in terms of maximum capacity now so that's what pretty much about our security overview dashboard as you could see that so we have discussed about inside dashboard configuration dashboard and capacity dashboard now let's move on to the next section which is very specific to east west security now this section gives us a capability to have a visibility and control over our east west traffic so click on distributed firewall and when you click on distributed firewall as you could see that we have a multiple categories available right there so you have a ethernet capability you have a ethernet section emergency section infrastructure environment and application section and as you do see that on the ethernet we have a number one which means that there is a one firewall rule 
which is created on ethernet section as you rightly see it here so i clicked on ethernet section and it gives me a firewall rule which is created on the ethernet section similarly we click on application section and look at that we do see three firewall rules which are present under that section and what are those rules that's what the information you get it right there from this ui so that's a category specific rules as you rightly see it here you click on all rules and all rules is going to give you consolidated output of all the firewall rules what we have created and that's where you do see that we have a total firewall rules created as four the one is coming from ethernet category and the threes are from application category so that's an intuitive a dashboard what do we see it here now the next section what we have it is distributed ids and ips and obviously distributed ids and ips requires additional enterprise plus licensing and that's the reason the current infrastructure does not have those licenses that's the reason it it is not able to give us information or insights about ids and ips capabilities so you need to have a right licensing in place to get the ids and ips capabilities the next what we have it is network introspection network introspection for east west traffic so now basically whenever you want to have a ids ips in place and you want to have a third party integration vendor integration to to detect your your ids and ips kind of capabilities you can use the network introspection and this network introspection will give you a lot more granularity about the traffic which is flowing as a part of your east west traffic and that's where you have a capability like that's where you can create a policies you can create a rules inside those policies and so on so forth by default as you do see that there is a one default in net network introspection rule has been created which is any any right but as soon as you integrate third party vendors with this solution nsx solution that's where they will keep those capabilities will be present right there on the nsx manager and then you can define a vendor specific rules for better protection and visibility now that's what pretty much about our east west traffic standpoint now the next section what we have it is not south security so that the next section gives us a security capabilities for our north south traffic so click on gateway firewall so that's what our gateway firewall is all about gateway firewall give us a capability at to protect our north south traffic whereas distributed firewall give us capability to protect our east west traffic if you do see that again there is a category specific rules as you could see that and it says that there is a one default rule which have been created which says that any any is allowed that's a default rule has been created on our tier 0 gateway if you click on all shared rules as you could see that just like our distributed firewall capabilities where we had a different sections the gateway firewall also have a different kind of sections available right here so that's the emergency section having all the emergency rules then system specific rules pre rules local gateway specific rules and so on and so forth the next what we have it is a url analysis now this url analysis is more about to having a visibility about the websites which are being accessed within your organization you want to have better control to restrict the traffic to a specific websites within your organization and that's where nsx url analysis gets really important which gives us a uh, analysis of the urls which are frequently being accessed within that organization so as of now the url analysis is not configured but you can click on that get started button and it will navigate you through the various configurable options of url analysis the next what we have it is a network introspection so the network introspection for the north south traffic the capability still remains the same what we have discussed for the east west traffic but the but the realization of these policies will happen at a different endpoints so the, the network introspection east west traffic care of takes care of protecting your east west traffic where network introspection for the north south takes care of protecting your north south traffic now the next category what we have it is a network traffic analysis now this network traffic analysis is very specific to giving you the insights and visualization about your traffic which is flowing within the nsx data center and those capability comes with a appliance called nsx intelligence appliance so you will have to install nsx intelligence appliance and once you deploy this nsx intelligence appliance it will start monitoring your entire traffic flows and it will give you a, a very good pictorial visualization of your traffic flows 
and a more granular information about visibility and the con control of the data flows scroll down a little bit the next what we have it is a endpoint protection so click on the endpoint protection no point protection is all about protecting our guest vms from malware so that's where we actually go and install third party vendor services solution with the nsx manager or nsx platform and then it those third party solution gives us a additional capability of of having those malware detection and protecting our guest vms for those kind of incidents so that's what endpoint protection is all about it and you do see that there we have a rules in the first section we have a rules and the next what we have it is a service profiles so you can create a partner specific service profile as you rightly see that after having a partner integration with the nsx platform and then you can create a vendor specific or partner specific service profile and you can start monitoring and protecting your virtual machine traffic from those malwares the next what we have it is a settings so that's a system wide settings so the first what we have it is a security profiles and that's where we have a security profiles like session timer flood protection and dns security so you can just create this security profiles based on your business requirement you can apply this security profiles the next what we have it is network introspection settings so we can configure network introspection settings like service segment service profile service chains these are all advanced topic which go much in depth about the the security services what nsx solution provides us so as of now we are just walking you through and making you guys familiar with the nsx t security dashboard but in the subsequent lectures we will be understanding about every single uh, feature and capabilities and we'll see that how these solutions really help us out in having a better visibility and control over our security traffic which flows within our nsx data center boundaries this conclude our lecture on navigating you through nsxt security dashboard where we have explored about all the security capabilities provided by nsxt platform like network introspection endpoint protection gateway firewall url analysis now stay tuned for our next lecture where we are going to discuss about inventory and planning and troubleshooting dashboard and we'll see that what all capabilities are actually provided by these planning and troubleshooting and inventory dashboard